Let us take a look at an interesting problem from Lilavati, the mathematical text from 12th century written by Bhaskaracharya. The problem statement is a snake's hole is at the foot of a pillar. So here is a pillar or a column at the bottom of which there is a, a snake's hole and a peacock is perched on its summit. So let's show the peacock perching on the top of that column. Uh, seeing a snake, so the peacock spots a snake over here at a distance of thrice the pillar. So if the pillar's height is say 9 units, then the distance of the snake would be 3 times 27 units. Gliding towards its hole. So the snake is, you know, scurrying towards its hole. He, means the peacock, pounces obliquely upon him. So this is how the two creatures move. The snake is scurrying towards its hole and the peacock is pouncing on him. Okay, going obliquely like this. Say quickly, at how many cubits from the snake's hole do they meet? We have to find the distance of this meeting point from the snake's hole. Both proceeding an equal distance. So the distance is covered by both these creatures. That uh, covered by uh, the peacock and the distance covered by snake are exactly equal. Okay, so let's see how to solve this problem. The first step in this solution is abstraction. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace these physical entities and creatures by their geometric representation. So let's get rid of the column and just represent it with a line. Uh, we'll get rid of the peacock and replace it with just this point P, its initial position. Same with the snake. So point S represents the snake's initial position. And point H here is the snake's hole. Then let us mark the distances that are given and that are to be found. Say this distance x from h to this meeting point, uh, let's call it x, that is to be found. Uh, then the remaining distance over here would be the total distance 27 minus x. So that's this distance. But this distance which is covered by the snake is exactly equal to that covered by the peacock. So we can mark even this distance as 27 minus x. And then you will see we have this neat right angle triangle, uh, one side of which is completely known and the other is known in terms of x. So we can start solving it using Pythagoras. So let's make some space here and I'll write the first expression 9 square plus x square. So that's our left hand side is equal to 27 minus x the whole square. Uh, let's open the brackets, expand the squares. So we'll get 81 plus x square is equal to 729 minus 54x plus x square. And you'll see this x square on both sides is going to get cancelled, which is a good news because that makes our quadratic equation to a uh, linear equation, uh, something that's easy to solve and has a unique solution. And then just transfer this factor 54 on the other side. So it will go and divide this difference of 729 minus 81 and we get an answer 12. So this distance x is 12 units. So that is where the meeting point is. I'm calling this meeting point as E because that is where the story ends, at least for the snake. But uh, let us solve this problem once more because what we did here is kind of analytical numerical uh, uh, solution. And for a beautifully worded crafted problem like this, we should do something better Okay, uh, to do it justice. So I'm going to get rid of uh, all these calculations and instead uh, we'll be solving it in a geometric manner uh, and that is pretty easy what we'll do we'll just connect the initial position of the peacock p to the initial position of the snake so this line p s is drawn and that creates a triangle okay p s e and you would notice this triangle is a isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal and this point e the vertex of that isosceles strong triangle is what we are seeking and finding the vertex of isosceles triangle is easy. Just take the base and draw a perpendicular bisector to it. So if M is the midpoint, I'm, I've drawn this perpendicular and it is going to intersect the ground or uh, this line here at point E that we are seeking. So one can do even this geometric construction to quickly get this point E where the peacock meets the snake. And finally, we will just measure this distance from the snake's hole edge to the meeting point E and that turns out to be 12 as before. 